What affects latency online? The speed of light plays a role. So that's the limiting factor. If you want to know the pop, you know, the fastest possible connection that you could have from one place to another online, the speed of light is your guide. So uh, as a sort of rough back of the envelope calculation, it takes about 100 milliseconds for light to circle the Earth. Um, so that, you know, so anywhere on Earth, you know, the farthest you could get away from light is about 50 milliseconds. So you could exchange 20 packets per second with a computer on the other side of the world. Um, now, the, the, but the fact is, if you look at latencies online, the latencies don't reflect the speed of light at all. So what's slowing things down? Well, let's, let's run some examples here. We're going to use ping. Ping is a great way to test, um, is one way to test latency. Uh, ping doesn't stress bandwidth. It's sending very small amounts of information. Uh, so a ping uh, essentially looks in, it sends a message to a server and waits for a reply, and then tells you uh, what, the, what the latency is. So I'm going to ping a server called testify.csu.buffalo.edu. This is actually my personal machine. It's located in the room just over there. So I don't know I, how long it would take light to get from here to there, but it would be tiny, 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 tiny. So a tiny amount of time. Um, so let's ping that machine and see how long it takes. Okay, here we go. Um, so now, you know, the, the first pack took a little while. I think maybe my Wi-Fi fell asleep for a second. But now I'm seeing, I'm seeing latencies over here um, that are in the range of, you know, four milliseconds, two milliseconds. And obviously, you know, again, I mean, there's no way that it takes, if, if light can circle the globe in 100 milliseconds, there's no way that it takes two milliseconds for it to go 10 feet. So this latency is reflecting something else that's going on on the connection. And most of the latency that we see online is not a function of the speed of light. It's a function of handling time by computers in between. So. If I ran a trace route to my machine, I would see that it takes a couple tops. So this laptop's going to do a wireless router over there. That wireless router actually can probably speak directly to my, uh, to my desktop. And so what I'm seeing here when I see a couple milliseconds of latency is the time it takes for this wireless router to take a packet from the wireless connection and forward it on over the wired connection. So computers despite the fact that they're quite fast, typically add a lot of the latency that we see to uh, the internet connections that, that we can measure. So latency is usually a function of router handling time and delays at routers along the way rather than the speed of light. Uh, to make that more apparent, let's run a different ping test. Uh, so I'm going to ping a machine called LiveLabs dot smu dot edu dot uh, sg. So sg is Singapore's prefix, uh, or sorry, uh, uh, I, uh, Singapore's DNS postfix. So this is a machine located at Singapore Management University, which is in Singapore. Singapore is almost on the other side of the world from us. Uh, the longest flight uh, that originates, some of the longest flights that originate from the United States go to Singapore. So Singapore is far away. If you got on a plane, it would take you a better part of a whole day worth of travel to get to Singapore. Let's see how long it takes an internet packet to get back and forth to Singapore. Okay, um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm pinging this machine, and I can see that, you know, at minimum, you know, I'm seeing about 250 milliseconds of latency. And that, you know, that, that makes a certain amount of sense, right? I mean, light would take 50 milliseconds to get there. This packet was probably touched by router after router after router after router after router after router. So the, the number of hops that this packet had to travel to get all the way across the world um, is quite large. And every time a router has to pick up and make a decision about this packet and pass it on, that's adding latency to the connection. So the latency that we see here, 250 milliseconds, is really largely driven by the router and the, the router having to, routers having to touch things along the way. Um, so, but you can, you can imagine how this latency affects things. So for example, TCP requires this handshake at the beginning of initiating every connection. If it takes 250 milliseconds to send one packet one way, then the latency that a TCP connection incurs is going to be quite large because it has to do that multiple times. And so when you start to think about um, loading websites and chatting with people and doing things where the person is really far away, the latency of these internet connections can start to matter.
but the latency is primarily the function of routers along the path and their handling time required to deliver the packet to its destination.